Howdy right, tubers. Well, I thought I might as well uh, do a video of how I pull my wings off. Anyways, of course I made I made these covers that don't screw on. I just take them off like that. Fast, easy, all that good stuff. I do need to repair this and that sometime. But anyways, I'm going to see if I can... Oh, I guess I better show you the other part that I do anyway. I put it up on jack stand, for one, to get the wings kind of level. And I put a, a, a strap around the stick to hold the stick in neutral. And I, I wouldn't... Normally, I just tie it to the back of the seat, but since I'll be towing it home, I always strap that down with down elevator. So anyway, um, I'm so I don't forget to do it when I get it on the trailer because I can't get in to do that when I'm on a trailer. I thought, well, I'll just do that right off the bat. So anyway, I'll see if I can get this set up on my stand, and you can watch. I'll pause it. Well, if I was at home, I'd put a blanket or something underneath here and just put a pile of, well, you know what it is. Anyways, to kind of protect it. So, anyways, let me get to taking bolts out. Of the, I take the, I take the aileron bolt out first so that uh, I can move it up out of the way to get to the rear spar bolt. By having the stick locked down in neutral, you don't have to fight the push rod trying to uh, move while you're trying to get it loose. That's why I do that. And then I'll show you something else that I've done to make putting the aileron bolt in a sponge easier. If you, the modeling guys ought to know what it is, but I put CA on that washer to, to glue it to that bolt, and that's for the aileron, so that you can, you have that big washer to turn to get it in there. Makes it a bukus, makes it bukus easier. Just another tip. Bukus is a technical term. I'm sorry, I use them a lot. Show you 
this stuff is what I use for the gap sealer. That's, I don't know if you can see it or not, that's, get that at Lowe's or Home Depot, that's what they use to put the plastic panels in showers. It's a H section, I guess you'd say. And on, the, on this nose piece, I trim this off so you don't have as much to bend around there. Okay, let's see. Well, I'll pause. Okay, another tool I made to take my taper pins is, is, is this. That screws in to knock, the, knock that tapered pin out. And of course, I've counter, countersunk it, or what do you want to say, on the back side so it's not flat, so, it, so the bolt will ride in there. And works like a champ. Forgot to show you this. I ah, uh, there we go. Instead of bringing a great big wrench out, I just drilled those quarter-inch holes in here and and just put that in there. And instead of having to have a big old wrench. Another thing I do is put a put a tapered punch in that bottom hole or where the tapered pin was in the bottom of the spark, but I don't put it in tight, I just put it in loose so that it, so that if it does tighten up, it won't tighten up against the the taper on it. Then pull the pin out, let it down. Pull, pull the taper pin out, pat, pat you up, pull it off. Pull this off, then you got to put this on. I don't know if you can see. I got to put this on with heat when it's cool out. Uh, you got to flatten it out, or what, if it's new, and you can see I trimmed off. Trimmed it off so there's less to move. Anyway, that's it for pulling it off. I've always said it takes about 20 minutes or something to pull the wings off by yourself, and oh, an hour or something if you've got help. Uh, some of you may get that. So, anyway, ah, man, that was a long video. That's going to take a while. Um, like if you like, and please subscribe, and God bless. There you go.